How's it going everybody? I'm Patrick Static. Welcome to Would You Rather with Wade! Hey guys! So we did this over on Wade's channel, go check it out, and we're gonna do it over here. We're gonna be asking each other some, uh, some interesting questions, and, uh, we're gonna debate a little bit. You ready? You ready, Wade? I'm ready. <laughs> okay. First question. Would you rather be in jail for one year, or live in complete isolation in the mountains for a year? Ooh, this is tricky. So, well, to be in jail for a year, I assume I would have to do something wrong. Complete isolation in the mountains. Does that mean like no internet, no games, or does complete that mean... isolation? Isolation I'm from people. Think, or I'm from thinking technology? that just means you, you like monk style, is okay. what I think. Which probably means you can't have contact with the outside world. Which probably means no internet. Nothing. But could I still have like my PlayStation and a TV? <laughs> still, with, well, being on PlayStation, you'd have to have internet. Internet. Not necessarily. There are games you can like, you know, old PS2. Okay, Super Nintendo. I have Super Nintendo. Let's, let's go with nothing. Complete okay, so you're, so you're isolated. You up there in nature. You up in there with the snow. Yeah. When I think mountain, I think like. I don't know. I feel like not having access to technology for a year or to people for a year, I'd go insane. I might have to commit a crime. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to go to jail. <laughs> You're digging up those bodies. I mean, yeah, I'm digging up those bodies. No one knows what that means unless they saw mine already. Um, I'm feeling towards the isolation in the mountains for a year, honestly. That, that wouldn't be bad. Now, I, now I gotta say, as the, the philosopher in me would say that it would be really cool to have, like, have a year in nature just to ponder and think about things and right, maybe right. write, work on my book or something. I could do that. I could work on a book. Or but work see, on... you've got Molly, you've got your family, you've got your friends. Right. Yeah. And, and it's hard to know. detach yourself for a year. Now, if you're, exactly. going, if you're going to jail, you don't really have a choice. I'm a social <laughs> being, so the thought of being away from people for God, uh, completely 100% away for a year is tough. Okay. Now, now let's let's twist this. Let's twist it a little. Well, what what would you choose? You say jail. I'll say jail, but even though I, I probably wouldn't, I can't see myself committing a crime. Okay. And I, being alone wouldn't be too bad. But I'll say just for the record, why not? Let, let's twist this question a little bit. Would, now, if you could bring one thing with you to the mountain, what would you bring? If that's what you would choose, if if that was on the table, would you rather be in jail for a year, or live in the complete isolation of the year for bringing one possession? Just twist well, it. Okay. Can I like if I bring a TV and a Super Nintendo? That's two things. Maybe I'll just bring my Game Boy. I'll play some Pokemon for a year. Okay, you're gonna play that until it dies. But okay. <laughs> oh, I get no spare batteries. No. <laughs> okay, so you say jail. Or I say complete. I just have write in. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Wow, 69% agree with me. 31% would go to jail. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I would probably not go to jail. I'd probably do it your, your... I'd probably go your route, but that would be tough on me. That would be very tough. I agree with you. Oh, that'd be I tough. just wouldn't want to serve a jail and year, uh, serve a year in jail. That's... Yeah, but I could, I could probably make friends. I'm, people could like <laughs> me. I, I'm social. People like me. They wouldn't beat me up. We would be the new kingpin of the freaking like, yeah, jail, I'd be, man. I'd be rolling that jail by the time. I'm Lord you Mimi. guys serve me now. Like, please don't punch me. I'll sign an autograph for your daughter. And they'd be like... <laughs> Bam! Yeah. I it could just work. see you. You'd be the pun king. <laughs> like, uh, I'd be punished for being the pun king. <laughs> People wouldn't just shake their head at my jokes. I'd get beat up. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, here's a here's a fun one. Okay. Now, would you rather be hunted by Jack Bauer from 24, or would you rather be hunted by Jason Bourne? Neither one. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lose lose. Um. Okay, so let's think. Now, now Jack Bauer takes a while, man. I think Jason Bourne would be. What do you mean he takes a while? Jack takes 24 hours! 20 that, That's a long time to get away, man. Jason Bourne, like, days go by in one of those movies. Weeks sometimes. That's true. That's that's true, I guess. I Plus, guess. let me throw this in there. Jason will come and kick the crap out of you maybe shoot you. But look at the torture techniques Jack has. Yeah, that is very true. Yes. No, I... Jason, I, come at me, Matt yeah, Damon. Let's, let's go, let's go, Jason. Yeah, I agree. With Jason Bourne. Jack, you've, I, you've shed some light on this. Yeah. 55 to 45 percent. Holy crap, that's about they, even. Who they agree 55 with? with Jason. Good, you guys are right. Yeah. You, Jason. You're right with Jackson, his torture ability. I used to watch 24 religiously Jack with my mom. Do anything to get to the truth. You know, if, you, if he's that asked, is true. You've done something and he will torture it out of you. Whereas, I don't know if Jason's a torturer or not. From what I remember in the movies, I don't remember him ever doing some of the stuff Jack yeah. did. 
No, no, definitely not. Like, no, yeah, Jason, yeah. all the yeah. way. Okay, so would you rather live alone on a tropical island, Wade, or would you rather live with other people in Antarctica? Uh, people I like? <laughs> <laughs> Am I just being thrown in with like the haters from my comment section, or is it like my family and friends? It just says other people. Oh gosh! It's man. funny on this website. There's like comments down below, and people's number one thing is Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. A tropical I, I island where it's nice and warm. Okay. I know you're from Ohio, so you're. I don't know how warm. So this it is. is saying that there's or, no like. So food and stuff on this tropical island, we have to be self-sustaining with food. But a tropical island, you would think coconut trees, banana yeah, trees. Yeah, but if there's no other people, you got to think also there's no, like, you know, there's no gourmet restaurants. You're not going to get that's, a steak. That's now. true. You're but, never going to have a cheeseburger even, again, whereas Antarctica, you might get plane deliveries or something. Okay, but now we, gotta, we have to look at this even larger. Okay. Look at my chicken, man. We got to look even larger. Now, we know about all of the global warming and stuff. That's obviously affecting the Antarctica, but we also have to look at all the tsunamis and hurricanes and stuff that's going on in tropical islands. I'll, I'll take Antarctica. Really? I will. Okay. For my, for my food. For your food. For I, food. I would... See, I don't like seafood at all, so both of these are just bad. <laughs> I would probably live... I would probably go with Antarctica, because there's other people yeah, there. Right, yeah, and people. I think working as a group would be better than me and Wilson. As much as I, I'm love not going to survive having to feed myself. I, I won't. I won't live. Let's go with Antarctica. A another 55% Antarctica, 45% tropical island. That's because the tropical island is just such a paradise, and some people are just ready to get away from people. I think, but yeah. Okay. That's a pr that'd be pretty impulsive for me to actually end up doing that, and I would regret it. Yeah, okay. Okay, fair enough. Would you rather dress only in styles famous from 15 years ago, or dress only the way you did when you were 15? <laughs> what did I wear when I was put t-shirts and... I do dress like I did when I was 15! In fact, for the record, I still wear clothes that I wore when I was 15. I have a sleeveless shirt that I go play basketball in that I've got pictures of me wearing when I was in junior high. So, I will live in Now what? What were the big what were what were some of the famous styles? Like I want to say it was baggy. I, I think we were wearing, people were like I the, remember the guys were wearing pants that were like two or three sizes too large and shirts that were two or three sizes too large, which is why now that I'm old and fat, they fit perfectly. So, well, I, this was this was 2001. That doesn't seem like that long ago, really. But yeah, you're right. Baggy was, clothes. Way, I, yeah, I was 12. 2001. I was 12, 13 years old. I was 11. So I still feel like it was the the baggy. Baggy, yeah. That might be like the flipped collar, wearing like the flipped collar. I don't know. Baggy, and I I remember gelled hair. I think 11 or 12. Yeah, I had spiky hair. Yeah. Baggy. I'd rather go with 15 year old me. I had just shaved the afro. So dress the way that you did nice when you were 15. Line. Yeah, t shirt. You had a nice headline. <laughs> t shirt, khakis, gym shoes, a nice, nice hair with a good hairline. Heck yeah, I'll go back to 15. 61% of people agree with us. 39. Yeah, good style, and I still do. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm a stylish mamma jamma. Okay, Wayne. If you were given, <laughs> if you were given the responsibility, would you rather inform a inform a room of first grade students that their favorite pets have died tragically, or explain to a room of first grade students how sex works in graphical detail? <laughs> the sex. You'd go with the sex. I'd go with the sex because. Either I'm gonna make a room full of first graders cry, or I'm going to explain something that's so over their heads that they're just gonna not understand and care anyway. Or, so you're gonna make them cry and possibly very, very upset for a while, or you're gonna mentally scar them. Yeah, I'll scar okay. them. <laughs> okay. I already run a YouTube channel, I scar plenty of people. <laughs> I would go with the sex, because I don't like making people sad, but yeah. uh, then again... Plus, if, I, if I told them about sex, that means their pet didn't die, probably, so I just saved their pet. <laughs> You're welcome, first grade students. <laughs> and this is a representation of the penis. <laughs> this. What? Okay, never mind, let's just move on. 63% of us people agree with us. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look. Come on. They've got iPhones now anyway. It's not like they haven't seen it. First it's grade. Probably... First grade. Okay. That's like... That's like five to seven years old or so, no? Yeah, but I mean, talking about sex to a first grader is probably about like talking like taxes to them. Are they going to care? No. Pro yeah, you're probably right. They don't have that mindset yet. I mean, some of them get crushes on people, but the, a crush in first grade is not the same thing as like a lust in like high school and such. That's that's true. Here's an interesting thinker question, Wade. Okay. Would you rather find a book about everything about the past, so a history book, but everything about the past, or find a book about everything about the future? See, this is the thing. You're gonna have, basically, you're getting like Doctor Who's book. You're gonna get everything that happened in the past or everything about the future. I don't know. Ooh, that's tough. That is I, a tough. I, impulsively, I want to go with the future. Right, that's that's exactly what mine goes to. I would love to know everything about the past. That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. I still have some knowledge about it. You know, I st we still learned about it. Not Whereas everything. Whereas the future, nobody knows anything about what's going to happen. Very and, true. And if I could know that, hey, if I take this class now, it's going to benefit me, or if I invest stock, and like, you know, there'd be no there, money. Dear God, that would be a disaster if people had access to that kind of information. Talk about, uh, talk about, oh my goodness, the ethical be... problems of that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that being a, a big thing. But, but I, I control that power, me alone. So That I would, would be true. Like, yeah, you would find that book. Yes. See, that's the thing. I love history. And there's so much stuff about the past that I want to know about. Yeah, you take the past, I'll take the future, and I'll, I'll handle the responsibility. Okay. <laughs> the integrity of the planet. Okay, I'm going to pick the past then. All right. Wow! 76% of people agree with you. Holy moly. Because, because the ability to predict the future is a lot more powerful than to be able to quote, you know, someone from 1887. But, okay, but see, this is the thing. You find in a book about everything about the future, everything, that means your own death. Yeah, yeah it does. I don't want that. That raises another question. Can you avoid your own death? That way? There are so, that's... See, there, this is one of those questions that leads to it's things that aren't really possible for us to comprehend because we don't know the consequences of this knowledge. Exactly. You know, can we affect something or is it destined to happen? A time rift? Our attempts to, dis to stop it from happening or actually what lead to it happening, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, it's just one of those things that we can't really comprehend what that kind of knowledge would do. Yeah, I would agree. Okay. And I want to live on that roller coaster. I'll take the ride. <laughs> would you rather be able to speak every language in the world fluently? Or be the best in the world in one category of your choosing. I already know the answer, but I want to know what category you would choose. <laughs> what do you mean I wouldn't choose to speak every language fluently? Oh, wait, if I, I speak know every language every... fluently. I'd be the best interpreter in the world already. That's true, but you could be the best that. in the world inside. You could be the best in anything that you would be better than Gar in something. <laughs> say I'm the best in division. The division. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, I don't know. Maybe like the best... You could be technically the best YouTuber or the best entertainer or you could be the best... I want to think bigger than that. Like, Pun like King! Humanitarian. Something good. Okay. Like okay. the best uh, ethical person. I don't know. Something like that. Well, this is the best thing, the best in the world in one category of your choosing. That's the thing, the world has like almost an infinite amount of categories. I could be like, yeah. You could be the best snowboarder. You could be the best... Pop drinker. Pop drink. Yeah. You could be the best <laughs> candy eater. The be best health specimen and live for like ever. That's true. It is of your choosing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'd go with, but it's gotta be that one. I mean, the, the speak every language fluently would be amazing. It would, but then again, you could be, I'm the best language fluent speaker in the world. That's true, and then you could See? just... See? <laughs> I would choose the best world, but I don't know what category I would choose. I'm yeah. very passionate about music, but I don't... I don't know what I would pick. Well, see, this is the thing. I'll be the best in the world in one category. Yeah, I guess you would be. I was going to say, maybe just because you're saying you're the best in the world doesn't make you the best, but I guess the way that it's worded. Hmm. That's an I'm going to go with that one. What wow. if I took my height, but I was the best, like, average height person in the world, but that might... Never mind, that's stupid. Let's go ahead. It's 52% to 48 about speak language fluently. That's pretty even. The language one won? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Uh, the category one. 
best oh, in the world category. It's basically 50 50. Yeah, yeah, about 50 50. Being able to communicate with anybody would be an amazing thing. Yeah, I agree. But I just don't know that I would, in a lifetime, have every language in the wise. world, every yeah. language, even old, forgotten ones. That's true. I just don't know if I would have enough time in my lifetime to utilize that power. And exactly. Knowledge. Yeah. Okay. So, would you rather be a police officer or would you rather be a firefighter? Whoa. Um. Hmm. Last big question. The police. Man, that. Or the firefighter. It's funny because the police is on the blue side and the firefighter is on the red side. That is kind of funny. I, I don't know. I. I... This is the tough I'm man. such like, I'm such an actual coward that I'd be afraid of getting shot, but I feel like I would enjoy being a police officer more or like a, an agent, like an FBI agent. Or something. I feel like I'd enjoy that a lot more than being a firefighter. I mean, they're both heroic professions as long as, you know, you don't... Abuse them. You don't abuse your power or become corrupt or anything. But, I mean, if I could be an, an idealistic... Both are hugely important in the world, I feel. I'll go with police officer, but I mean, honestly, they're pretty close. That's like a 51 to 49 kind of pick. I would say firefighter. Okay. Because very few people hate firefighters. <laughs> How well, many people... I would bring a good name to the police <laughs> profession. How many people are like, oh, look, it's a cop. Yay. <laughs> I don't know. Please get a lot Come of bad rap. The, the, they do the, get the a lot of lady whose purse is stolen. I, I'd be her hero. They, they are hugely important in everyday society. I will say that. Okay. A lot of police, I feel, set up certain things. I, I won't get into the, the nitty gritty. I would still like just... I'm about to get some like threats from people like, yeah, wait, I, how dare I, you see you inside with the cops? <laughs> I would choose firefighter. I okay. feel both save lives every day. Yeah. But I still feel police can fall under that corruption more than a firefighter would. I guess it also depends what kind of police officer you are. You know, are you putting up That's uh, true. parking tickets? Are you fighting serial killers? Are you, you know, yeah. what, what, yeah, I guess that depends. That's, that's a tough question again. Are what, you what, like what Jack Bauer? Say? Isn't he, he's not a police officer. He's like, no, he's FBI something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Firefighter. Like the books. Wow. Okay. 64% of people agree with you. Holy the police? Night. Yeah, the police officers. That is fascinating. I wonder if it's because they feel like there are less situations where police officers put into a deadly situation, whereas a firefighter, I mean, you run into burning buildings as a profession. Yeah, and putting out fires and stuff, which I like fires, personally. Not setting them, but just, you know, I, I like... Yeah, but I would hate to... I mean, you know, it would be awesome to save people from a burning building, but most of the times I feel like people get out, so you're just there squirting water at a blazing fire. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, still, that's that's a huge difference. No, no, that's a bad thing to do. It's not. It's, just, it's not. I, I I don't know. Both that I would can enjoy be just being thrown into that all the time with like burning stuff all around me. I wouldn't enjoy that. Yeah, but both are hugely appreciated. So no, if no, you no, guys that, yeah, are. I'm not trying to put one down. I'm just saying right, like, me right. personally looking at it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, this has been this has been interesting and fun. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, my brain is tickling or tingling. T <laughs> <sighs> Binomial nomenclature. <laughs> you said it right that time. I did, yeah. Anyway, if you guys want to see more of this, let us know down in the comments. Go check out Wade's video. It'll be over in his channel. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, thank you, Wade, for joining me for this. My pleasure, Pat. You Thanks for having beautiful me. beautiful police officer, you. Thank you, you little fire, firefly, firefly. Fire. Thank you, you little fireflyer. I glow so nicely. I can't speak. Whatever. Anyway, I'm I... gonna be the best in the world at speaking one day. That's gonna be. That's amazing. the category. There we go. Yeah. I love you guys' faces. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys all next time. See you guys then.